Miss Melinda here, your spiritual worker from Miss Melinda's Metaphysical Services.com, here to bring you episode one in my series entitled Tarot Therapy. This is a chance for us to explore themes in the tarot cards and how they relate to the medicine that we need within ourselves and within our lives in these modern times in this current world. So in episode one today, I'm going to be discussing the Emperor. And this is the Morgan Greer deck that I'm using. The emperor is most often seen as a patriarch. In our collective worldview, in our collective conversation, what I'm seeing over and over again is that he's coming up as the patriarch. A patriarch has is associated with the patriarchy. A patriarch does not have positive connotations. It has negative connotations in today's world. A patriarch we have come to associate with characteristics such as wanting to dominate, wanting to subjugate, wanting to control, wanting to repress, wanting to oppress. Let's take into consideration that all of the cards should have all kinds of characteristics and dynamics. They should be able to be applied to all kinds of different situations and they should have different um, dynamics and dichotomies involved in their personalities. It is then our job to discern which aspects of those personalities or those characteristics apply to our current situation or the current circumstances or question at hand. So other aspects of the the emperor would be a patriarch who is caring, loving, generous, comforting, who offers security, who offers stability, who offers love, who offers safety, somebody who is ushering us into uh, our own personal growth through a foundation of support and security and acceptance and unconditional love, this would be the ideal of a father, right? So the emperor really is about our ideas about what it means to be a father. What I feel is that if we want to create the change in the world that we wish to see, then we need to change our ideas, our thoughts, our feelings about these things. And with the emperor, it's really important that we can recognize positive examples of a father, positive examples of a masculine-oriented caregiver, positive examples of a male-oriented individual who is caring, loving, accepting, and generous. And it's true that our goddess is wounded. In our collective consciousness, in our worldview in this current time, the goddess is wounded. She has been wounded for a long time and that is manifest in our reality, that is manifest in the world around us. But in turn, through the goddess being wounded, the, the god has now become wounded as well. So it is... It, it is they need to be healed together. It needs to be a relationship. It needs to be a um, a synergy between the two of them, perhaps even a melding of the two of them, a melding of the two of them. So when we consider the empress, we can consider all kinds of aspects of her personality as well, including a dark goddess aspect of her personality, including a um, aspect of her personality that is also con can be controlling, can be dominating. But most often when she comes up, we choose to focus on the positive aspects of the empress, um, fertility, creativity, nurturing, mothering, those kinds of energies. Let's try to meld these two together. And one way that I have considered melding the two of these together is by summoning up our personal images of either the emperor and the empress, or the patriarch and the matriarch, or the father and the mother, and allowing those images, allowing those characters within us, those parts of ourselves, 
or those imagined entities that we can conjure up within ourselves to have a dialogue with each other. Take yourself on an inner journey where you imagine and visit your inner father, your inner mother. You introduce them to one another and allow them to have a conversation. Allow them to ask one another what they need of each other in order to be healed, in order to be balanced, in order to work in harmony, in order to bring temperance and healing into their relationship. Because it is healing between these, these two aspects of our collective consciousness, our our collective worldview that needs to be brought together. It is healing that needs to happen within this dynamic in order for us to assist with healing the world around us. So I hope that this gives you some ideas about some ways to think about the emperor and how the emperor can be applied to your personal growth and applied to the change and the healing within you that is in turn going to affect the change and the healing in the world. Thank you so much for watching and stay blessed.